Thanks for tuning in. I'm Whitney and I work in the Adult Services Department at Columbus Public Library. I enjoy playing tabletop role-playing games with my buddies. Gather around a table, adventuring while snacking in your PJs sounds like a great night to me. I spend a lot of time building backstories for my characters, most of which the players won't ever know about, but I use it to help keep me in character and make decisions that my character would make and not the real Whitney. If you're a beginner, you can use the randomized rolling options located in the 5th edition book. Whenever I take a longer break from tabletop gaming, I usually use these as baselines to help me get started and inspire me a little bit. However, if you want to customize your character and really bring them to life, you almost have to write it yourself. The following steps are just opinion and experience for me, so do what works best for you. I like to consider everyone and everything else first. My first step is always asking the Dungeon Master about the world that they've already built. I do this before I even choose my race and my class. This is not because I want to make an overpowered character, it's the exact opposite. I play tabletop games to relax, and while a certain amount of difficulty is fun, I don't want to struggle the entire game. An example would be is if your DM built a world that has a lack of magic. Do you really want to be a magic user? That class might come with difficulties that you'll need to consider before you get your mind set on some elaborate backstory of a magic user from a long line of magic users. You also might have trouble finding components you might need if there's a huge lack of magic. These difficulties might be something interesting to play out, but you would at least like to know that before you get into something you can't back out of. Next, I'd like to know if anyone in my party feels particularly strongly about playing a certain class, race, or already has their backstory built and wants to share. While an entire party of bagpipe playing bards is one of my tabletop gaming dreams, it might not be everybody else's. You also need to keep in mind that each player you're playing with is also writing their own backstory. I always suggest playing what you want to play if your DM allows it, but let's say your party mate builds a character that hates humans. Do you really want to play a human? You might, but if that player played strictly by their backstory, it would be impossible to group peacefully with them. After considering the world and other players, let's focus on your character. Do you want to be close to how you are in real life, but in a fantasy world? Or do you want to be completely different? I usually see players always do one or the other. Every time I play with a certain friend, their character responds and acts exactly like the person who plays them would if they were placed in that situation. Another friend has never, at least with me, played a character similar to them in any way. I do not think there's a right or wrong way, as long as you and your groupmates are having fun. It's just something to consider. What drives you? What do you want out of life? Power? Love? Fame? Acceptance? Justice? Helping people? Why is it your drive? For example, my character's drive is helping people. She feels strongly about it because she grew up on the streets of a major city while the people around her ignored her cries for help. She had to steal and cheat to survive, but hated doing so. Wealth was hoarded by the lords of the land while their people starved. She is driven to help put power in the hands of the common folk. Maybe they have a meaningful object or possession. One day, while he was scavenging for food outside of the palace kitchen where his father worked, a kind noble saw him and gave him a coin from a far-off land. He knew at that point that when he grew up, he wanted to visit that land and get out of the shadow of the nobles who ran his family's lives. Think about their surroundings of where they grew up. How would that impact them? Their personality, their family, their friends? If they grew up living on a farm, do they talk to plants and animals more than they talk to other humans? Or maybe they long to leave the farm and set off on adventures. They might be really close to their family and not know the difference of how to act around people who aren't their family. Do they have something they really enjoy doing? All he had was books. His parents ran a library full of rare magical books 
and even though he didn't quite understand most of what he read, he loved the pictures of all the magical creatures. He vowed that he would one day not only be able to understand the scripts, but he would see as much of the magical world as possible before he died. You don't have to make a character with an overly dramatic backstory. Some of the best characters have almost no backstory at all. However, if you do want to make a dramatic backstory, try adding something normal about them. Maybe they were orphaned, but they grew up with a group of street kids that acted like their family. Explain those relationships. Just about every tabletop game I've played, someone comes up with a backstory of their entire family was killed, but they were the sole survivor and my character wants vengeance. There's nothing wrong with that backstory, but I'm sure your DM and fellow players would love something that gives your character more depth than that. Maybe instead of your entire family being killed, they just vanished, and you're on a quest to find them or find out who did it. You could leave that reason up to your DM. Why is your character adventuring? Why is your character their certain class? Usually, I like to include both because they almost always come up at some point in your campaign. It's better to have too much backstory written than to quickly have to make it up on the fly. Some other issues you can include or think about are, do you have a secret? How bad is it? Did you kill someone? Or does your very rough looking and acting character who claims to hate everyone and everything just like to read soapy romance novels? Did you fail at something? What's your character's alignment and how does that play into their backstory? What's your character's moral code? Does their moral code bend for certain things? When it comes to a certain type of person, does your moral code only bend then? Does your character have goals? Honestly, it's always fun for me to answer no to this question. They were just curious and wanted to see what was out there, or they were just on a walk one day and tripped over one of the people in their party and asked if they could tag along. They had absolutely no idea what they were getting into. That character would be surprised to find out what goes on outside of their little town. Is your character religious? Keep in mind that sometimes when you answer questions like this, your character will be impacted by the rules of the game. How old is your character? How does their age impact them and their choices? What personality quirks do you have? Sometimes I suggest taking a personality test as your character. One of the wild personality tests that you can find online that doesn't necessarily mean anything scientifically, but they can ask questions that might help you understand the mindset of your character a little better. What's your character afraid of? Why do they adventure and how do they feel about adventuring? Is it a choice or a means to an end? Your DM is your best tool. Before you get attached to a backstory, it doesn't hurt to run a broad idea by your DM. That way you won't waste a lot of time writing something that the DM will not allow or is not for optimal gameplay in their world. I also suggest listening to your DM's responses when they suggest you change something. Particularly if you have a kind DM that might be trying to steer you away from making a difficult to play character. Chattahoochee Valley Libraries also has Dungeons and Dragons books, both physical and electronic, like these two books, The Dungeon Master's Guide and The Curse of Strahd. Thanks for tuning in.